The work day that we have as geologists will depend on what part of the world you work on geology in. Um, if you work, say, in the Gulf of Mexico uh, in the U.S., uh, your typical work day, if you're an operations geologist, that means you are responsible for the drilling of the wells along with the drilling engineers, is the first thing you do is prepare yourself to go offshore, to get into a helicopter and fly offshore to the rig where a well is being drilled. You've already done your homework before then to decide, looking at your maps, looking at your seismic, decide where you're going to drill the well. You've done your also, also done your homework in planning the well, and then you get to go fly out there on the rig as the well is being drilled to tell the well engineers and the drillers where the oil should be, when to stop the rig to take samples, when to talk, stop the rig to take core rock data. So that's, a, that's an operations geologist. If you are uh, an exploration geologist, you spend your day looking at all kinds of information from all over the world, rock data, uh, sound data, um, remote sensing data, maps of the earth that you can get from Google Earth. And you try to pull a lot of different information together to cr try to create a view of where we should actually focus in on to look for oil and gas around the world. So the broad spectrum of exploration geology is what actually attracted me to becoming an explorationist in the, in, the, in the first place because I like the idea of being able to explore the world and going around and looking at these. Even if you can't do it on a plane, you can actually do it on Google Maps.